Today, I score one of the best rounds of my entire golfing career. It's coming close to a year mark since I started playing golf, where I started from scratch to try to become a scratch golfer. I've traveled through land and sea to train with the greatest golf coaches in the world, and it's starting to finally come together. Although I started with a rocky no. front nine, by the end of all this, I get more dialed with my short game, start hitting some amazing shots, and even unlock my inner Min Woo Lee to cook this round to get one of the best scores in my golfing career. Let him cook! Let him cook now! So as to, let's go. Straight down the middle, but you know, a little out to in. It's gonna be a long day today. In a good way, in a good way. <laughs> Woo! Hole one, hole one. We're back in Mission Trails. It's been a minute. It's been a minute out here because it, I, I don't know if you're in California, but it's been thunderstorms and rain for the past two weeks. Not a lot of ranges have been open. This one has definitely not been open. This is only car path only. So we're gonna be walking a lot. You can hear the water. Thank God that's, even though it was in the greatest shot, it's like not too far from the <laughs> cart path. So we'll be fine. Let's go get this. Let's have a good day. And yes, I'm not wearing a visor today. So at me. We're going to hit a five iron nice and easy. Come on. Come on. Let's go. We're feeling good today. We're feeling good today. We're also trying to break 85, ladies and gentlemen, per usual. And if we do, let's give a credit to the hat. But let's go, let's go. <laughs> Last one was at Admiral Baker, and I didn't do too hot, but it was a new course. You know, it was getting jitters, but also trying to figure out the landscape. Overall though, like I felt so confident. Like I think today we worked on short game for a week. We'll see how that kind of pans out. I feel a little more dialed. There's some stuff I'll, I'm gonna tell you guys later in this video about my decision making process, but also things that I'm gonna be doing differently. Hopefully it makes a really good impact. So we'll see here. I striped that on the green. Let's go. It's about 100. I'm gonna get an A wedge. Okay, I think a little over the green. But it's coming down. It's coming down. Roll, roll. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Oh. oh my God. Oh my God. You guys gotta see this. You guys gotta see this. Downhill here, left to right. Oh no, it's done. Oh my God. Oh, it's gone. Okay. I kind of fidgeted on that on that putt, but I'm mad. I, I felt good about that and just like it just didn't do what I wanted to do. <laughs> but hole two, come on. All right. Slightly went to the right. Club face a little open. And of course, when I say, let's get it away from the trees, it's right behind the trees. So we're prepared though, we're prepared. <laughs> we're gonna punch it out and then get that up and down for at least par. All right, so fortunately we're behind a tree here. I think the move is to punch it out. Can I hit it over this tree? <sighs> All right, slightly hit the tree. Sit. Money, go in. Oh, wait, let's see. Oh my God. Oh, wait, 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 Okay, let's let's not mess this one up, huh? Let's just not. We we already messed up a birdie. Let's let's just get the par. Let's get out of here with a par. Par baby. Let's go. 
Let's go. That was crazy, dude. And if you thought that was crazy, definitely stay tuned for an insane back nine. Almost at the year mark in this journey, and I have trained and shared with all of you some of the greatest coaches in the world. But that's just the beginning. Year two, we are going to see higher quality coaching content, new golf courses around the world, collaborations of your other favorite YouTube golfers, and many more. So quickly go down below, hit that like, hit that subscribe, join the S2 family, and let's take over YouTube golf together. With that, let's get back to the show. Okay. We got 143 to the pin. Handy dandy nine iron. Slightly pulled it, but I think we're pin high. Kind of like that sit. A little too much, but that's kind of the general feel. I kind of pulled that. But, you know, I like two putting now, it's fine. No, I read that. Okay, there is a canal here. Um, that's about from here, about 210 yards. So we are gonna hit a seven iron. Ugh. And get a little short and have a nice little pitch in. And then, yeah, should be fine, should be good. That was nice and easy. I think that's a little, little in the fairway. A little right. Chip that up for a up and down. Go over. <laughs> I um, kind of got cute with it. I'm still like practicing those half shots anyways. So I gotta get those more dialed. This is 49. Let's get this up there. Sit. All right, we're gonna pitch this little, uh, use a little pitching wedge action, a little right of the green. Oh, sh Sit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, that didn't go. All right, that was an ideal. Uh, skirted that pitching wedge, got it close, and then missed that. Oh, oh my God, that might've been a triple bogey. All right, we got a par four, 340 yards here. Yeah, we're gonna hit a nice six iron. And then, and then we're gonna just pitch it up there to get the top. Man. Short game still need to work. It's, it's, those are the things around the green. Seems pretty easy, should have been pretty easy. And then you blade it and then it's, it goes from like potentially one putt to a three putt. that far went. I kind of wanted to land short, but might have went over. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. So it's about 118. I have pitching wedge right now on hand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off. Do a little hold off action. Uh, let's see if we can land it. Be good, be good. Oh, boom. This feels like it's going left to right, but also right to left at the end. I like that line, see? Okay, we're feeling a little better with the putting. Distance control is there. Okay, so that sand trap right there is about 240 yards, 150 yard carry. So we're hitting a five iron directly at it. It'll land probably 200 yards, give or take. And then they'll give us another five iron in. If I stripe that one, I'll land on the green. If not, a little short. And then we'll chip it, putt it, get out of here with at least a par, hopefully. I might have been aiming there, <laughs> but uh, It'll be fine. We'll hit another five out of there. And then we'll three, get it on green and three. I think we'll be fine. This is kind of on the incline right now. So 
we're gonna just take a club that I'm comfortable with more and then kind of just get it midway. Nothing too crazy, hit a seven iron. That'll bring us like 80 yards in probably. Let's see actually. So I'm gonna aim like right inside that tree over there, but it's probably gonna land a little to the left of it, hopefully. So yeah, we're gonna hit a seven iron. We're just gonna try to stay balanced here. Actually, we're gonna hit a five iron and choke down. Oh my God, that was a good shot. <laughs> But that was pretty sick. <laughs> Curved around the tree, hit the green, probably exploded over, but <laughs> what are you gonna do, man? A little too much. Means right to left, a little uphill. Oh. That's not the worst putt ever. Ooh. Like I said, I'm very confident now that I'm gonna two putt a bunch of these things. So let's just keep doing that. Play smart, get a little more touch on the chip-ins. I pushed it slightly. I should have aimed a little more to the left or just, you know, did it properly. Whoa. Ooh. I read that completely wrong. I was reading that from left to right, I went, I mean, yeah, left to right, it went left. <laughs> uh, okay, that was double bogey. That could have been avoided easily. This is about 300 something yards, short par four. Oh. Okay, so it's, it's playing 171 here with slope. Wind going far to the right. We're gonna hit a seven iron full. Let's do it, let's end it. Oh, one to the way to the right. No. No! Go. <laughs> I'm done. Every time I come to this hole, it's like, I always get a double bogey. It's because of the uphill lie. And it's like, not the greatest. Turn. Woohoo! Okay. All this is just avoidable. And then it just gets the score out of hand. We're gonna hit a six iron. My 195 to the pin. Okay, okay, let's get, I think I've said this in the past. These par threes are where I've like lost a lot because like in this area, if you kind of miss the green, Everything's pretty much uphill, downhill. Things I just need to keep practicing more on, but I end up losing so many strokes on just around the green, like over there. Um, but this one felt good. All right. This is, this is gonna be a, this is birdie, this is birdie. Let's go, let's go. Hey, the next eight holes is gonna be good. So in the past I've hit driver on this, but it's kind of, the way I'm kind of 
playing things right now. I mean, probably should hit a driver, get it close, but I'm just trying to think. We hit a driver here. Get it. Mm. Is it the play? Is it the play? No, the play's not driver right now. The play, it's 354 yards. And we're gonna hit a five iron, about 210 yards, and have like a nice nine iron in. Let's play that. It's a little narrower here with the houses on the right. So let's do that. And then next hole, 456, par five, hit a driver, let the big dog eat. We're just gonna play all these holes that are like sub 400 with a like a five iron and get there in two. See, that's the best thing. We chunked it slightly, probably went like 170 instead of 200. Um, but it went straight. And right now, that's kind of all on this course we're trying to look for. Sit, 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 sit. So that's one thing. I mean, I like the where the shot ended, and I kind of predicted it was gonna go there if I did that move. But I still gotta hold my follow through. I hate, I hate like not holding my follow through with these shots. Just doesn't allow me to get feedback. But I did hit that pretty solid. Okay, 50 yard shot. Got a 56 degree. Went to the right of us. Aim a little to right to the green. Go, go. I pulled that. I like that though. I pulled it, but I like that. I like the distance control. Go baby. Oh, what time? Ooh. Let's go baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Controlled, controlled. Uh, controlled hole there. I like that. Although that was a one, two, three. Oh, it was a bogey, but controlled bogey, controlled bogey, not the worst. But I think the end of the back nine, let's have controlled holes. I nuke that. Man, okay, so we're, all of our shots right now are going a little out to in, fading. It's not the worst thing, but it's not what I'm aiming for. Part five, let's go. Five iron. I, I shouldn't have held it off, but I felt so controlled. <laughs> I had to, I just, it, just, it just naturally happens. I think we'll be good. The wind, there's like a lot of wind right now. Yes. Uh, maybe like five, 10 miles. It like was going straight and then it kind of just drifted with the wind. But I struck that so nicely. It's like a half shot or like a belly button shot with a 56 degree. Go. Ooh, I like it though. I like it. It's probably like a little more. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> but I'm mad how I'm, it was like ac actually right at the pin, which is, would have been dangerous. I chunked it a little bit. If I didn't chunk that, I think that would have been like ideal. That's it. Yeah, that's the feel. That's in. Oh, oh. that's okay. Dang. I walked it in too fast. Don't get cocky, guys. Be humble. Had the heebie-jeebies in the front nine, but if we just feel controlled this entire remainder of the day, then I think we're just gonna score well. Like, it's not... Man, that was probably the best drive of the day. I still am not getting my left foot, like, not a lot of my weight on my left foot. I slightly spinned out of there, but recovered. It went dead straight though, which is amazing. So this is how I've kind of like envisioned myself playing. The back nine here, like the front nine, you know, it's not, you know, like, I don't wanna make excuses, but I 
do feel like this is more indicative of how I've played, like I, I've prepped. Ooh. Yeah. See, I like that shot. I'm still getting that dial. That was short by five, 10 feet ish, but I held it off longer. Like I was practicing, I was practicing the shot yesterday actually. Cause like I said, I really like the hold off, like stop the power rather than like trying to swing out of my shoes with a, the next club down. And I was getting the A wedge around 91 yards, 92 yards, which I wanted to get there. I held it off too much. That went about, that went about 85 yards, but I would rather do that than hit a 56 degree full right now. Um, for me, it's just so controlled. And like, I, 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 I know where the, it's gonna go. Like that was right straight at the target, which is, it's all you could ask for in golf, you know, like so. Like that. Oh, a little, a little too much, but. That's how you're done. That's how it's done. Yes, sir. That is how it's done. Yes, sir. Come on now. Oh my God. Uh -huh. that, sir, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, man, super controlled. Like every shot has been so like. It just feels good right now. I think I'm gonna roll. Let's uh, let's keep going. Why not? Why not? Let's go. Oh man, I guys, I'm so excited. Throughout this entire time, we've had like pretty good coaches, as you guys know if you watch the channel. Um, we got Dana as a full swing coach, Rick as like the mental performance coach. But obviously, the short game is where I'm gonna get all my all my points at. And so, I know I've kind of alluded this in like previous episodes, but. This upcoming week, I'm gonna meet the long-term short game coach for the channel. I don't know when that episode's gonna drop, hopefully soon after this one, but he's gonna dial me in. Again, like, I think three of these, three holes, we went triple bogeys, it's nine strokes. Like, that's the difference between right now, 86 and a 75, 77. <laughs> and that's, that's wild. Like, if we could just go get those two bogeys at least, that's, it's huge. And so I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys to kind of be part of it. But until then, we got to get the big dog to eat. I think the last episode when I think I shot like a 97, 96, I, like I said, I think that was like one of the worst scores I've ever played, but in my mind, I felt more confident than any of the previous scores. Even though like I scored an 89, I felt more confident in my lower score yesterday than when I scored higher. I like that, I like that. Okay, so this tree is above us, but if I hit a seven iron, I don't think it would, I'm gonna hit, you know what? I'm gonna hit a seven iron. Not the five iron, not the seven iron. I'm gonna hit a six iron down low, but not a full swing. And I think I'll, I'll get there rolling. Yeah, that's sauce. That is saucy. <laughs> Controlled. Just like, oh my god, like what? Why didn't we play like this the entire time? This is so, golf is so fun when, <laughs> when golf, golf is fun when you're good. <laughs> when, it's so good when you, it's so fun when you know where the ball's going and then you're not losing your mind and you're making your putts. And, oh my god, look at Let's go, dude. That oh is, my oh god. my god, look at Wow, that oh. like that died like instantly. Okay, we got a par four, three thirty-seven. Uh, this has a lot of space, so we're gonna hit the big dog. Let's try to get a birdie here, I th dude. This would be wild if oh my god, if we break eighty-five today with the horrible start. Oh my god, imagine what we're gonna do tomorrow. <laughs> 
But, okay, because we're now at 87 and I'm feeling dialed. We've gotten like pars or bogeys this entire back nine because everything's just super controlled. Nothing's super risky. Uh, we, honestly, a lot of these could have been pars in birdies, but it is what it is. And then these next four holes are par fours and very reachable. I think we can get like pars or birdies on these next two holes. Long par three though, 215. But I have done pretty well in that hole because it's downhill. I kind of send it with a six or six or five iron. And then the last hole, <laughs> you watch the last hole, the last hole is intense though. Dang, yeah, I should aim way more left. That like, that felt like it was going straight and then the wind took it more than I wanted. Gotta go. I didn't want to aim to the houses. <laughs> Cause if I like pulled it, then it might have- the one, Like the one time like the wind dies. <laughs> I just killed somebody. So, yeah. I mean, it felt good though. Let's go get it. I, I don't know if you could feel this wind in this camera right now, but um, you guys watching, it, it like it's like 10 miles an hour, maybe 15. Like it's, it was like the last, man. That's what we need to gauge, to be honest. Like understanding how far this is gonna take it. Cause that felt like probably my best drive. No. 47 yard shot with a 56 degree. Kind of like that to fall through in. We got a kick. We got a kick. Let's go get it. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> We're feeling dialed. We're feeling dialed. Oh my God. It hit this rock. Oh, it hit this, okay. it hit a rock. I think that was the line. I think this is automatic though. We're fine. Uphill. No worries. Oh, dang, bogey again, but I felt like that was the line. I think I could break 80 in two months. Two months or even like one month. I know I know the score wasn't great today, but like I had a different perspective on the last nine here, which is like just controlled. Even if the finish is in full, like just super controlled, whatever that means in my body, boom, controlled. And it's kind of gotten pars or bogeys. Three holes left, so. All right, all right. How far is that tree? All right, so if you watch a lot of my other course vlogs, I always go for the hero shot here with a driver because I think I could bend it like Beckham. Like, why, why do I think I can do that? I don't know. <laughs> so we're obviously controlled. Smart play, hit the five iron directly out of the tree, get it in in two from like, from a nice, like just don't try to do anything crazy. Can we just try to not do anything crazy for once? I'm not the joker. <laughs> Slightly chunky, but straight. Ooh, sit, 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 sit. Slightly pulled, uh, didn't land left. It went, or it's, man, I gotta assess it. I might have aimed there too. Just, <laughs> I don't really, felt like a solid like strike. We went past the green with an eight iron, a little past pin high, 28 yard shot. We're gonna hit the same shot we had with the 60, de uh, 30, uh, the 60 degree. Oh my God, not controlled, but it went, <laughs> Uh, it's a, and that's that's what you call a good miss, guys. <laughs> Whoo! Oh, that was pretty good, though. Ah, not gonna, not gonna lie, it was it was okay. Another bogey. Can we break 90 or even get our best score ever? Our best score on this channel is an 89. And 
And right now we have an 89, two holes left. We could get a bir two birdies and end with an 86, two pars, 89. But now the goal is just break, break 90 today. And then we're gonna, we're gonna get after this again. Um, we're gonna come out either this place or another place, but this is 215 to the pin. Par three, the longest par three on the course. Let's get after it. This is for sure a par at least. At I'm, least. I'm, I'm going for a par birdie right here. Yeah. That was like striped. That, that was, was striped. Mm. That was probably the best shot of the uh, day. Chef, chef kiss. Right Let him there. cook. Uh, Let him cook uh, now. Come on, get him back in the kitchen. <laughs> we got like a 20 foot putt here. Let's, let's get after it. Okay, let's read this. Oh, the sun is out here. <laughs> this looks left to right, like slightly. We're gonna remove all the rocks in the way. <laughs> This feels like a straight putt. Call me crazy. Call me crazy. Oh, oh come on. Oh, I needed that. Ah, tough. So tough. So tough. This game is tough. Oh, oh my God. It's so cold. Final hole here. We still have a chance. We still have this chance. Can we get a birdie here? Break, break 90. Also get the best score of our lives. Uh, I felt a little more locked today. A little more locked than I usually am. Just trying to feel this and like, the main things in my full swing right now that I'm trying to feel is getting to the top of this backswing and then having this, this, chest rotation make me land left and the instant I'm landing left I'm pushing this way and then kind of trying to bring this in and up that's like the feel I want but man ah uh, that's the first the first round the first nine holes I did not have that feel I would I mean I I had it and then I lost it and then I had it and I lost it and then these last nine holes, I felt like I've had it, but again, like feeling real, like I kind of feel that I've been controlled, but from a technical fundamental standpoint, I don't think I was doing it properly. I might've started like, I, I have this tendency where I, I just like, like when I push, I, instead of, I just like <laughs> get up, <laughs> but I'm gonna stay down and uh, that's a big thing. But, Putting feels a little more dialed. There's like ones that should not have happened. <laughs> we lost so many pars to bogeys. We lost the birdie to a par, but those are things we jot, jot down. Take some notes, figure it out, figure our lives out. <laughs> Cry a little bit tonight <laughs> and come back strong tomorrow. I gotta work some short game after this, but oof, I feel good, I feel good. I think, I think I'm gonna break 85 tomorrow or the next day. <laughs> okay, well, I hit that short. Very, very short. No excuses, but... <sighs> Let's go. Ice cold. Ice in my veins literally right now. Oh my God. Okay, so this is 168 yards rough. Usually seven and iron, but it's going uphill. 168 playing. Oh God! All right, that was all I got. Thank God I hit a five iron. I, I, so this is what happens in the rough. Deep in the rough, it'll like snag it and take it left, which it did. Sit. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. uh, sir. Mwah. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, man. This was. I just found a someone lost club. Gotta return this. But right. until that, till then, love you guys. Thanks for sticking around. I'm gonna put a sweater on. 
<laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs> hey there. Jerome here. <laughs> Look at us here just chilling at the outro section of this video. Who would have thought? I, not me. You know what would be even better, though, if we chilled together even longer? And we can do that if you check out that video and click it on that thumbnail. YouTube told me specifically that you would have loved this video. So I'll see you there.